Hey, how you guys doing again? We're here on the island of Maui, and boy, is it breezy. Pa Kamakani, so pleasant today is, and it sounds like there's someone speaking to me in these breezy trade winds. We have a special guest that we want to talk to today here in Maui, in Honokahua. We have with us Clifford Naiole, Hawaiian cultural specialist for the Risk Carlton. Aloha mai pa. Aloha, aloha, aloha. So, Clifford, I'm over here and I see this magnificent piece of artwork. This is Ki'i. Can you tell me this, this, uh, what this Ki'i is for and how it relates to Aumakua? We're going to be talking about Aumakua today. Well, as you, as you said, that breezes that come in, it can represent the, the voice of our ancestors. Aumakua. This sculpture here is dedicated to Aumakua. It tells of a place where we reside prior to birth, the place called wow. Ko. And it is cool. signified here on the back side of this sculpture where we reside and live in peace and tranquility right. until we are born and we go through this portal. We go through this puka. So po is like, po is like darkness. Po is darkness, but it's a nice, peaceful, nice, tranquil peaceful darkness. darkness. We come to the place called Ao, which is this energy here, which is light and energy. And we live our life wow. as we are. And then we go back. Once we hala, once we leave this earth, mm -hmm, we move mm -hmm. to the next realm, we go back to po. I want to just show the kiki real fast. Come over here. Look at this. This is pretty cool. And this is significant because it looks out to the other side. I know Correct. It, the hedge is blocking it, but it looks out to a point on, on Maui, right? It looks to the lena called Makalua Puna. Makalua Puna. And the lena is the actual puka where we can go back and forth. Wow. And so we live this life, we go there once we pass, and then once we pass, we wait for our, our, our descendants to say, I miss my grandpa, mm -hmm. I miss my ohana. And at that point, we come back to this puka again, but we come back as nature. We come back as, as the whale, as the mano, as the pu'eo. As we come, we come back as all these beautiful creatures of nature, for us to take care of. And that is what Aumakua, our ancestral gardens, are. Correct. Right? Correct. Cool. But how do they guard you? They talk to you inside here. If something in here is saying to you, "Don't do it," that's them saying, "Don't do it." It's up to you to listen. That's your that's your voice. Your ancestors who made your backbone, your Aumakua, are saying. Listen to me, here I am. Aumakua encompasses nature, it encompasses the spiritual, you know, it's there to take care of you as long as you can recognize your Aumakua. So Clifford, this area here, what is its significance to this place, Honokahua? Honokahua was a site, is the site of a very, very uh, large, it's a burial site, a vahikapu, wow. a sacred site. So this is a celebration of life and death. It's here, we lived here. We, we, we had our farms, we, we, we had everything that we needed here. The ocean was so fertile as it was the earth. So we lived our lives here, we died here, and poof, we went to Po. And what is your kuleana for Honokahua? My kuleana here is to make sure that we keep the integrity, the sanctity, and the dignity of a kupuna alive and well, because they fought their greatest battle when they came up from the earth and said, here I am. No more hotels. Wow, well thanks for having and sharing Absolutely. with us today. We have, Kiki, I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I did. It's a beautiful day, and I think I'm gonna check out more of this area. Talk to you guys soon. Aloha, thanks, Kiki. Thanks, Clifford. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.